Hey, Kevin. What are you doing? Hi. Oh, I'm trying to get some of this webbing off of this. This is that plastic maquette that I did on the 3D printer. And now I'm trying to get all this webbing out of the way so the actual sculpture itself can come out. And it's proving a little tougher than <laughs> the directions say. Uh, I might have had a setting wrong in the, in the program somewhere. All this has to come off. But that wall is so thick right there. It's not just snapping off very easy. You know, it's, it's a good solid support. I mean, it did a good job. So I've, I've got several different tools. I've got some cutters. I've, I've got my hot knife heating up. You know, it's just a, a soldering iron that I made a blade for. So I'll have a hot knife, basically, for cutting through plastic. And of course, I've always got the Dremel. I can always go to that with a, with a little uh, woodworking bit on it. it. This is the little wood bit that I found. But boy, it sure does like plastic. So. Okay, knife ought to be worn. Okay, not quite as hot as it should be, but it's getting there. Now, will you have to come back and do cleanup? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll cut way outside the line, if you will, just to try to get the big chunk out of the way. So I'll come back with the Dremel or with a little carving knife and take out that little corner, clean up back in there, all of this has to come out. So one little piece at a time. And I stop a lot and check. <laughs> it's just like, you know, cutting cold butter like it's been in the refrigerator. It doesn't take a lot of pressure and it just slides right through. But you can't get the precision? Is that why you cut it uh, broadly and then come back? Right, right. It'd be so easy just to have just a little jiggle, just a little bobble somewhere, you know, if you're trying to cut like right on the line, and then you wind up ruining the piece and have to start over. <coughs> so it's easier to cut, you know, cut outside the line, and then I can come back with something more precise than this guy. Like? Well, I, I, I've got some carving knives here, you know, I, I can do it that way, uh, like, you know, carving for like doing woodworking. You know, it's, it's kind of hard, like wood. Uh, and I've got the Dremel. I've got several different kinds of bits for the Dremel, so I can, you know, I can go real, whole, real, real fast and take out a lot of material at once. But it makes a big mess. You, know, you get a big cloud of dust going in here. Got to wear a respirator and what have you. Or um, I can go to a finer tooth on a bit for the Dremel and just go slower and just very carefully pull it off. Eventually, I'll wind up down at sandpaper. You know, many different grits of sandpaper. Trying to polish it just a little bit, clean it up. So how long would this whole process take? Getting all of this off of here would probably take me about three hours. To sit here and cut it all loose and then let it cool off. Because if you come in now with the Dremel while stuff is still hot, it just turns into a big gun mess. I would imagine like a little band saw that would help with this, or you know, a little coping saw, your jigsaw on the stand. If I printed this a little bigger, well, a lot bigger, <laughs> and I could just about clamp it in the vise, so I didn't have to stand here and hold it. I wish we had smell a vision so they could smell the burning plastic. No, you don't. <laughs> ah. Now that I've gotten rid of some of that support in there, now you start to see the sculpture itself underneath the support. So now I got to get real careful and real slow and come through and get this, get this portion off of that portion without touching this portion, and just keep working from one section to the next. You know, going slow. Now I'll, I'll probably break the knives out and. Try carving on it just a little bit, see if I can work it off that way real real slow and real gentle. So after about an hour of Dremel work, dusty everywhere, you know, dust mask the whole nine yards, there it is. Pretty, pretty cool. So what are you doing now? Well, I was just using my, my wood carving knives and just 
getting in all the little tight corners, you know, places that I couldn't get into with the Dremel, or I was a little nervous about, you know, getting in there trying to dig around a little bit. You know, just cleaning it up, getting the nice sharp corners on it the way I want. What's with the white glove? Don't you know Michael Jackson? <laughs> this is a carving glove. It's actually a Kevlar, a Kevlar mesh that is cut proof and you know grind proof. You, know, you, you can you know if you happen to touch it with the Dremel, it, it, it won't go right through to your skin. You know, but mostly it's for when you're using the knives. So if you slip a little, it, it doesn't, it won't cut. So this is what it looks like in plastic. And you, you saw the drawing from the CAD program. So you, so you know what it looked like on, on paper. You know, that's what it looks like in steel. <laughs> Kick it up a notch, make it a little bit bigger. You know. So are you happy with the, the uh, piece that you printed out? I think so, yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, there's, there's a little bit of, of roughness on the bottom of it where it didn't print quite right, but that may be fixable by uh, you know a different orientation on the on the print tray. You know, rather than printing it straight up, you know, maybe if you lay it down that would fix it. But some of them, the bottoms, printed out just fine. But you know, these three, for some reason they didn't. I, I don't know. Still learning, still playing. But yeah, it turned out pretty cool. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to work. I'll see you later.